सो हेलो फ्रेंड्स लेट्स नाउ मूव टू द नेक्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ आवर जी आई फार्माकोलॉजी दैट विल बी योर ड्रग्स विच आर यूज फॉर द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ डायरिया इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द ड्रग्स विच आर टारगेटिंग योर कॉन्स्टिपेशन ओके नाउ ड्रग्स फॉर द ट्रीटमेंट ऑफ डायरिया सो फर्स्ट वी हैव टू गो फॉर द फ्रूड रिप्लेसमेंट थेरेपी देन वी गो फॉर ड्रग्स सो फर्स्ट कम टू फ्रूड रिप्लेसमेंट थेरेपी सो and this is the main step of treatment so the first treatment in case of diarrhea will be your fluid replacement and in that we give ors getting your point and then we go for the drugs which are uh, we will discuss under many category anti motility drug anti secretory drug adsorbent probiotics then antibiotics clear now first coming to the oral rehydration salt that is ors so here one package mixed in 1 liter water to form ors now we have old who formula we have new who ors formula and this old is also known as a standard ors formula now in that sodium must be 90 millimole potassium must be 20 millimole then chloride 80 millimole citrate 10 millimole and glucose must be 111 millimole getting my point and this is totally to 311 millimole per liter now based on the new who ors formula sodium should be 75 millimole potassium should be 20 chloride 65 citrate 10 and glucose 75 and totaling to 245 millimole clear and when we consider it salt so nacl will be 2.6 g kcl will be 1.5 g trisodium citrate will be 2.9 g and glucose will be 13.5 g totaling to 20.5 g and this is based on etc diarrhea and this is based on your cholera diarrhea basically this is the strain of e coli clear so this is the basic difference between new who ors formula and old who ors formula clear and this high sodium presence may lead to hypernatremia may lead to periorbital edema and can worsen the diarrhea so this is the basic difference between old who formula and new who ors formula you would be just get a short notes on ors or short notes on fluid replacement therapy or short notes on treatment of diarrhea so you have to go for this now move to the next part in new ors we have seen sodium amount is decreased so there will be low osmolality so there will be decreased risk of periorbital edema we have discussed then in this high sodium so high risk of periorbital edema but in new ors ors sodium amount is low less so there will be less risk of periorbital edema now what is the role of the different components so sodium potassium and chloride this will replenish your electrolyte trisodium citrate this will correct acidosis and it will also increase absorption of electrolytes so citrate is given for correcting the acidosis and to increasing the absorption of electrolytes glucose okay so it will increase your sodium absorption by sglt1 so by sglt1 glucose will help in increasing sodium absorption clear and this glucose addition is the basis of success of ors okay now with ors we also use zinc supplementation nowadays it is recommended to uh, go for zinc supplementation with ors 20 mg is given in case of 6 month to 5 years and 10 mg for 0 to 6 month clear now moving to the next part that is anti motility drug so we have discussed about the first and the main stay of your treatment that is fluid replacement in which we have discussed about ors old who formula new who formula and then some miscellaneous points that is what is the role of these components and what is the supplementation that is zinc supplementation what is dose what is why we using that now coming to the end the drugs the second part that is drugs so the first drug the first group of drug basically which we are going to talk about is anti motility drug so what is the use of this drug so it can be used in ibs plus drug induced diarrhea and two drug you must remember which can induce diarrhea five of you in enoteca suppose all anti cancerous drug okay all anti cancerous drugs can induce diarrhea okay we are just focusing on two this here example you have taken five of you in enoteca this anti motility drug is generally contraindicated in infective diarrhea but in severe cases we can give them along with antimicrobials antimicrobials are given to counteract that infection and anti motility drugs can be given along with antimicrobials in severe cases now what are the drugs so three group of drugs will come under this the first one is opioids then 5st3 antagonist then reserpine analog so first coming to the opioids so it includes loperamide diphenoxylate acimetoline 
and rest category so loperamide you are knowing it, this is the mu agonist and this is non addictive in nature this diphenoxylate along with atropine is given because this diphenoxylate will cross your blood brain barrier and so it can cause addiction so to counter at that addiction we can administer this diphenoxylate with atropine then we can give this acimadoline or eluxadoline then we can give this race coreteril this is again important because this is in caffeinase inhibitor this race coreteril is in caffeinase inhibitor and by inhibiting this enzyme the enzyme is your in caffeinase so in caffeinase will be inhibited then degradation of in caffeine will be slow down so it will increase your basically in caffeine now the next your 5st3 antagonist it inputs elocetron racer pine analog it includes mevaberin clear and all these drugs are given in ips now moving to the second group of drug that is anti secretory drug means which decreases secretion this will decrease the motility of your muscle intestine by decreasing the motility it will decrease cases of diarrhea this is anti secretory nature means it will decrease secretions <coughs> sorry okay it includes three drug octreotide then telotestate ethyl then clofelimer this octreotide this is drug of choice for secretory diarrhea remember this octreotide is drug of choice for secretory diarrhea it can also means where we can see secretory diarrhea in case of carcinoid syndrome in case of hiv cancer vipoma okay we can give this drug then telotestate ethyl it is also given in carcinoid syndrome it decreases your serotonin secretion then clofelimer it inhibits your cftr and it can be given in hiv or aids then the clonidine it inhibits or it will decrease your chloride secretion so it can be given in diarrhea is due to diabetes or diabetic diarrhea basically so we can give in this so four drugs are coming under anti secretory octreotide telotestate ethyl then clofelimer then clonidine so these four drugs will come under this clear okay now the third group of drug that is probiotics clear so they are bacteria basically we are using lactobacillus or bifidobacteria or yeast and this is used in antibiotic induced diarrhea and can also be given in treatment of necrotizing enterocolitis which is seen in newborns so this is the third category that is probiotics now the fourth is your prebiotics that is bulk laxatives we have discussed in our constipation video that then that, that bulk laxative can be used for the treatment of diarrhea also because it absorb water so it will decrease excretion of water it also stimulate your bacterial growth clear okay so this was our drug which can which will be say targets uh, which usually target your treatment for the constip uh, diarrhea now let's discuss about this also irritable bowel syndrome so basically this is a lifestyle disease diarrhea predominant constipation predominant or abdominal pain divided on three okay divided in three groups uh, based on the symptom so diarrhea predominant or constipation predominant or abdominal pain predominant so here bulk laxative is given not responding go for loperamide or mevaberin not responding go for elocetron not responding go for clonidine again not responding okay then resistant cases are there now constipation predominant go for bulk laxative then pg then chloride secretor such as then loperamide or linacrotide in abdominal pain we can give anti spasmodic anti muscarinic such as have seen diacyclamine and dotaferrin clear so this is all about your irritable bowel syndrome and diarrhea in next video we will start with the emetics and antiemetics clear so thank you for watching best of luck please subscribe our channel please please please